Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with a tree diagram. Now you should be used to working with a tree diagram from higher GCSE. If not, this is how it works. Let's say that there are two tests. A person's going to take two tests, test A and test B. Okay, so the probability of passing test A um, is, let's say, 0.7. So the probability of failing A, failing that test, is going to be 0.3, okay, because you either pass or you fail. Okay, given that they have passed A, the probability of passing test B is then 0.8, but failing B is then 0.2 because these must add up to 1 as well. So given that they failed A, what is the probability of passing B? Well, let's say that's 0.5, and failing is also 0.5. Okay, so what we're going to do is try and answer these three questions. What is the probability of passing B? Now, with a tree diagram, you multiply along the branches. So the probability of him passing A and then passing B is 0.7 times 0.8. So 0.56. So that would be the probability of him passing B in that case. However, he could also pass B here if he fails A and then passes B. So that would be 0.3 times 0.5. So that's 0.15. So the probability of passing B is 0.56 plus the 0.15. So that's 0.71. Let's now say passing at least one of the tests. Okay. So, if they pass at least one of the tests, then he could pass both of them. He could just pass A and fail B, in which case that probability is 0.7 times 0.2, so 0.14. Or, he could fail A and pass B. And so, it is the sum of these three probabilities, 0.56 plus 0.14, plus 0.15. So this added to 0.14 is 0.85. You could also find that by doing one take away the probability of him failing both tests. 0.3 times 0.5 is 0.15. And so you could do one take away 0.15, which would get you to 0.85. Right, the final question is the probability of him passing A given that uh, they've passed B. So the probability of A given that they've passed B. Okay, well, that is the probability of passing A and B divided by the probability of passing B. So the probability of passing A and B, we already calculated in the first part, and that was 0.56. And we're dividing by the probability of him passing B, which we calculated here as 0.71. So 0.56 divided by 0.71 is 56 over 71 which is 0.7887. Okay, or 56 over 71 to be exact. Okay, and that's how a tree diagram works. You multiply along the branches, and if you've got alternative options, and you're looking at or, then you can add your way down the list. Okay, and pick out the ones that you want to add together. 